Thank you for tuning into this special Morgan's World episode. I actually uh, got a couple of ballpark quotes from some heating and air guys, and they were telling me we were looking at nine to twelve grand to put in what I needed for my manufactured mobile home. All right, Abel and I are gonna run the wire for the new mini split. This mobile home was set up for the other side uh, where the old pump was, but where we need it is over here so that the, the line sets are gonna reach. Well, I wasn't gonna spend that much, so I bought the DIY Mr. Cool kit from Home Depot for 2,500 plus 200 in electrical. A total of $2,700 and put it in in about a day, day and a half. And I wanna share with you guys how you can do it yourself, save a boatload of money, and maybe have a little leftover for a toy or something fun. Enjoy this tutorial episode. All right, we're just taking this old funky fuse box out. Doesn't usually happen on this channel. If you want outdoor family adventures, subscribe, and you'll see it on the... Got free. All right, let me see. On the white? No, on the black to black. You gotta match the colors up. We're gonna run the wire and strap it all the way over and out, and then stick it out the hole, and then we'll sleeve it and uh, put our fuse, our our uh, disconnect. Now keep going straight across. Are you going with me? That was fun. So now we put in the disconnect and then ran a wire for the uh, mini split and then we got to set a pad for it. You want to explain what we're making now? Concrete pad. For the. Alright, got the, the little metal wire. I didn't want to tie rebar because it's right there. That's it. What I gotta do is grab that level. Oh, here it is. And we gotta level this out. Thank you. I think we uh we mixed this way too thin, so we'll see what happens. Let it do its thing. Abel got to pour some concrete. Was it fun, buddy? Mud was the fun. It's going to be cool when it turns into a rock, huh? Yeah, because then we can jump on it. Oh, yeah. Here in a little bit, you can write your name in it. Not yet, though. <laughs> well, I guess I can put in the heating and air system now. I honestly was not expecting that much stuff. But uh, that's 2500 bucks worth of uh, mini split stuff. So I guess um, I'll unload this and probably in the next day or two, I'm going to start putting it together. See you guys then. River's helping. They see me. They see me. All right, well, first impressions, it's pretty solid looking unit. This is our 
Abel and I built the pad. It looks like perfect size. My electrical, I might have to bump it this way a little bit just to slack and slack that wire up, but we're good. And uh, I, I basically need to uh, figure out how to anchor this thing to the concrete. Uh, I don't have the right size masonry tip, but I gotta get this down here. So I'm gonna have to spend some time boring it out. I do have a little masonry bit, so at least I have that. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Got it in. All right, so now, in theory, what we do is to get this anchor to actually do something to set i'm gonna have to get channel locks you just supposedly hammer this in I'm gonna get the back two anchors in and I'll show you guys how to tighten it. Now we're just gonna secure it. I probably should add some washers later, but we're gonna secure it right to the to the uh, pad here. And for now, I got my handy dandy Gerber. Solid. Rock solid. I think the next step is to put the, uh, I believe they call them the exchanges, the evaporators, I believe is what they call them. I don't know if it's the condenser or the evaporator, but I gotta do the inside part next. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be time to try to mount this indoor unit, drill the hole through the wall. I should have enough line. Let's see what happens. What does it say? Look around, idiot. No, I was my silly thing. It didn't feel like it though. That's the way I, 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 I like it. So now we got to drill the hole through the wall and try not to hit any wires because if I do, I might die. So anyways, we're going to drill that through. Hopefully I do it right because I have no idea what I'm doing. Look, it even comes with its very own wife that cuts the hole. <laughs> but it does seriously come with a cutout. So pretty much gives you like diagrams for everything. Not red, red. Mm -hmm. I don't have the right size drill bit, so I'm gonna pilot drill it with this and then saws all the rest. How is this? Why is there plywood? That is not what I was wanting to find here. That's not good.
That's it. Looks pretty good. Here, I got a little bit of a mess. I need some spray foam. But we'll bend these down, run them down. And I can't decide if I'm gonna run them under and then over and then out. I don't know yet, we'll see. All right. Well, I got the line sets out here. I need to, I need to now try to figure out how to hook all this stuff up. If you guys don't watch Outlaw on YouTube, pretty funny guy. And uh, I've never tried it before, but I got some of his Outlaw dip. I do chew once and well, I'm chewing more regularly now because I'm not drinking right now. I'm not smoking any weed. So this is not tobacco. It does have nicotine in it. But I figured uh, give it a shot. This is called the Ramblin' Root Beer flavor. Mmm. Tastes just like root beer. I'm enjoying. That's good. Anyway, check out the Outlaw channel, even if you don't chew. He's got funny stuff. Well, I was going to try to get the uh, proper cover plates on these. Uh, but because I kind of forgot a step but uh, I think I can make it work and then spray foam it so that's what I'm gonna do But uh, probably a good idea to check out the Mr. Cool instruction video as well. It's only four minutes long. And also uh, stay tuned and entertain yourself with me learning my way as a normal person. Gonna do this. Hey, Abel. Abel. Hey, I'm gonna feed the pipe through over here. Can you grab it? Yeah. Keep pushing. I'm too old for this. No oh, wait. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, that'll work. Awesome, and thanks Abel. Abel pulled it out this side for me. It Connects right there, so we got plenty. And then uh, hopefully we got enough there, but I think we can make it work. It's tight. I think if we can pull it at least That's a little bad. bit more, but. Oh. All right, well now I just got to connect the blue to the blue, the gray to the gray. And then we got to put some sound dampeners on it, tape it up, strap it to the wall. We're getting close. Go. Clap, I'm gonna spray foam. I don't like this stuff it came with. There we go. I guess we'll go unit A and then B, so.
All right, so basically I got this run. Um, needs some touch-up work. Um, but now I gotta put in the second unit, run the line sets. That one's longer, so I'll connect one of these in the middle somewhere. It came with an extra roll. Um, and it came with extra wire to connect. So I gotta run that, I gotta strap this. We're getting part way there. I'm gonna go ahead and set that uh, that next unit and not show you guys that because I figure you get the picture from the first one and I don't wanna drag this video out too long for you. So one thing I messed up on was you're supposed to, where that metal bracket is, you wanna drill off to the right of it, not behind it like I did. we go look at that oh my gosh guys just a little update another another situation where I am not even close to perfect I ordered the length and I was pulling the uh, the, the line sets and I did not have enough length I'm pretty sure I made 50 feet out of four or 51 feet out of 50 feet because what I had to end up doing was cutting a hole over there running it diagonally and I've barely got enough room. I mean, I, <laughs> I had to pull it tight. It took me like an hour. So make sure you get enough line. That's another stupid mistake I made. Don't do what I did. So I'm just gonna hook this one up and it's time to wire it. There's that. All right, you know what else I can do real quick? I can charge the lines and have Abel test them for leaks. So what you do is you get some soapy water, spray them on all the joints, make sure there's no air bubbles, and then that means it is good to go. Uh, to charge it, we need to, as far as I understand, I might rewatch the video again, but there should be a valve behind here that I open, and that ought to do it. All right, so supposedly, just turn them on. Wow, you hear that, guys? Woo, that's the sound. Okay. Where do I spray it on that? Spray it at. Hey, on. See how there's no air bubbles? Yeah. That's good. That's what we want, no air bubbles. Nice little wiring diagram here, it tells you the power coming in, and then we're gonna have unit A and B going. So it tells us where to wire it in according to this diagram here. Oh, it even has numbers, L1, L2, cool. All right. All right, she's wired up, so I'm gonna put these covers on and then we're gonna test it. We are ready for takeoff. Oh my God. I have had many of these moments go sideways, so we'll see. Hmm? You say maybe it already broke. <laughs> Haley has so much faith in me. She's so positive with it when I do projects. They scare me. Oh shit, hell yeah, turn it down to 74, let's celebrate, or 72. Uh. Oh. There we go. 72, sorry. Look at that, she's cranking. Babe, listen to how quiet this unit is compared to our other one. It's not silent like I thought it would be, but Oh my god. That's nice. No. Dude, the old one was so loud. I can't believe it. Good job, baby. I'm proud of you. Don't me. you think that's cool? That's awesome. Can you believe that it worked first try? No. Well, I hope it cools the house. You have a hard time with other stuff, but you actually did this pretty well. Is that going? Yeah. I can't even hear it. Yeah. That's totally silent. Yeah. What do you think of that? That's cool. That's yeah. awesome. Listen to how much quieter that is than that other crappy thing. I know. I don't even know if I can get it going. 
Yeah, I just turned the power. I mean, that thing sounds like an airplane compared to the other one. Oh, it gets even louder. Yeah, that's not even loud, but no. listen to that. You can't even hear it. What? She didn't clean up too bad, did she? Alright, next morning. Here's a little update, everybody. Yesterday, we had it on for like three hours, and it's it wasn't blowing cold air, and I was pretty disappointed. And uh, I looked probably two or three hours last night on YouTube videos trying to figure out what was wrong. And the instructions, as far as I could tell, didn't even say. But here's what I did, and it fixed it, and it was pretty simple. So I did not realize that on the single units, you just turn them on down here, but you also have to turn on these valves up here with your Allen wrench. If you don't do that, it's not gonna charge the system. And I literally fought that thing for maybe three hours last night. So make sure you do that because now, this thing's blowing cold air, and it's awesome. I'm gonna give it a little while, but I think it's working pretty good. All right, everyone, it's gotta be 80, 90 degrees outside. I've been mowing. You can see I'm sweaty. I had to come in to cool down. Hold on, Riv. I got it set to 62, and it feels great in here. Hold on, Riv. Here's the old thermostat. 62. I cannot believe I've never seen this place this cool. Sorry, hold on. I've never seen this place hold 62 in the summer, ever. And it feels great. I mean, yeah, normally we'll keep it around 70, but we're giving it the max test. What's your thoughts, baby? I love it, especially since uh, we've been having contractions every 30 minutes apart now. <laughs> All right, well. I think that's going to just about wrap it up. This thing's doing what it's supposed to do. Blowing cold air. Mobile home heating and air system. Save some money. Like seven, nine, seven to eight grand.